So first of all, you're you're kind of vying for Thursday nights, I think. I think Shonda might have a run for her money. What do you think? <laughs> well, Shonda is, definitely has the leg up um, on her Thursday night extravaganza. But, you know, we'll sit over there in the CW and do our little back-to-back shows and feel pretty good about ourselves. I like it because you got the supernatural element on your you know, on yes. the CW. So yes. Covered. Doctors, lawyers, scandal publicists, teachers over there, and then... Vampires, witches, werewolves over here. Thank God for DVRs. Pick your poison. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, so going into season three of the originals, what's kind of our main driving force, our theme? What, what are you guys kind of working towards? I think the big theme is unification of the family and reunification. They've splintered a bit at the end of last season, and there's a lot of resentments, a lot of animosity that they are going to have to get past because a new family is coming to town, um, and it's an untraditional, unconventional family. It is the first line of sires of our originals. So if we have a show about the original vampires and this, these are the children, the first children of the originals coming into town and um, as I've said before, you know, parents don't tend to thrive in this universe very well and now you know, Klaus and Elijah, Rebecca, they're, they're the parents. So let's hope and pray that they come out the other side of this okay. Yeah. Is it safe to say these families might not get along very well? <clears throat> It is absolutely safe to say that there are, as anything involving Klaus Michelson, that there are some ancient resentments that need to be resolved. So uh, I think that it would behoove Elijah and Klaus to find a common ground and come back together to work together as soon as they possibly can. I was going to say, because whenever the family does come together to work together, they don't always get along too well. So will they, are they going to hold it together this time, or is that the challenge? The challenge of this family always is trying to get them all on the same page. Uh, they do love each other deeply but they have a lot of contentious opinions uh, about each other and about the way to get things done. So Elijah has, of course, the big brother role, but um, right now he's so angry that I don't even know that he could see clearly uh, in terms of working with Klaus. And so they're going to have to really get their you know, acts together okay. to, 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 to prevail. Okay, if we're going to talk romance a little bit, who's, who's going to be like our big super couple in oh the new God, season? Our oh super God. couples. Well, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, but we definitely are trying to lean into the romance of the show just a bit more because we finally have these characters that we know so well and we're starting to see, oh, you know, there's some really interesting chemistry between these two. I think, as always, that longing um, between Elijah and Haley is, is stronger than ever now. I mean, she's at her most unavailable metaphysically and 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 metaphorically um, so that is really going to be a big thing we've got somebody new coming in that might draw Marcel's eye um, we've got the you know that lingering wondering of what could possibly happen between Cammy and Klaus if anything ever and I and I gotta say I think Vincent has a little crush that he's not quite owning up to just yet so uh, it's yeah and yeah I think I'm excited about some of that stuff